All right, you guys, it is Final Fantasy Friday again, as it has been for the last six months, I think, at least. But we are trucking, making our way through Shadowbringers, and we will eventually make our way to Endwalker, which is what I was trying to get to originally. But, um, let's continue with this. Continue. Hey, BB10. So, um, we left off one quest line away from the Katana Ravel. Um, so I am actually going to do that in the party finder because I think the next few dungeons I don't really think make much of a difference having the party there or not and they go faster so they go a lot faster so we'll just do it that way and then um, definitely in Endwalker we're gonna want to do those dungeons with uh, trusts because I think they make more they make more sense with the trusts um, no, I don't know. No, 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 not yet. Not yet. We're, we're working on our way there. Working our way there. Mm. Alright, let's go, um... Resume. We're gonna resume. Yeah, Fattest Chocobo... He's a biggin. <laughs> he's a biggin. And, um... Yeah. A little ways yet for that. So where were we? The burden of knowledge. We need to get back to Fanal. Right. So um, Emmett Selk actually helped us out. He uh, rescued. He rescued um, Ishtola. From the uh, live stream? No, 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 no. It's hot chalky. It's hot chalky. And it's almost gone. So. Don't you worry. <laughs> it's just hot chalky. With your mordens gone and your companion now returned, I think it best you go now before they can regroup. With magic flowing once more through the Great Pyramid of Yuxhner, the entrance to the Katana Ravel should now be open. Before we leave, Ariane J, did you discover anything that may suggest the Light Warden hides elsewhere? Nay, though we had but little time before the Yomoran's most unwelcome arrival, we scoured the nearby environs and spoke once more with the one called Koril. Having hearkened to her tale, it is my judgment that the Sin Eater, which her late mother did espy, was indeed the being we seek, and that it most likely resided in the vicinity of the Raktika Falls. In the absence of any subsequent sighting, I have no reason to believe our quarry hath sought out a new sanctuary, and given the considerable difficulty we face in reaching the falls, we may be certain, may be certain it hath not been disturbed by man. Hold on, I forgot I had my I had the music way low for you guys because of the other game. There I turned it up a little bit. Then our course is clear. We must navigate the Katana Rebel and make for Rectica Falls. Though you see it as but another obstacle to be navigated, the Katana Rebel is the most the oldest and most sacred of our temples. The accumulated knowledge of the Empire is said to reside within. Knowledge which is rightly yours, as allies of Ronka, you are welcome to explore. I fully intend to survey every elm of it once our mission is complete. Were the Empire still alive, he would be overjoyed to hear you say so. But I must warn you, though the way is opened, it will still be heavily guarded. To discourage the trespassers and test the worth of our allies, it had to be so. Be careful in there. <sighs> Head east and you will find the path of the jewel flowers leading to the Ravel. I wish you safe passage through its halls. <laughs> They're bunnies! Okay, they do have tails, but... They would probably cut my hand off. Mr. Matoya, I know I cannot dissuade you from going, so please, promise me you will return safely. The Knights Blessed need you. 
You need not worry, Bunar. I shall return, and bring with me a long-awaited gift. One the Knights Blessed will treasure now and forevermore. Now, let us away. Search the destination. Oh boy, we gotta fly over there. Oh, BB-10 gets to hear more Lahi, right? Yes, more Lahi! Then. I can't imagine what could have survived in there after so many years. After you, my friend. At long last, the time hath come to find out what wonders yet remain in the heart of Ronka. This had better work. I have no wish to return to the Great Pyramid. She has a bowl. It does sound like she's singing when I have a bola. You can feel the ether flowing through the door. A gentle push may be all that's required. Our earlier efforts were not in vain, it seems. Stay on your guard, Rizal. We know not what awaits us inside. Alright, use the duty finder. Let's see. No. Katana Ravel. What? What do you mean, no Chuda? It's better this way. See? There we go. <laughs> oh, it is Ebola! She, it's the Ebola song! She's singing about having Ebola. And how her soul is singing. And how she wants to do all these things before she dies. I don't know. You heard the lyrics. You read the lyrics. <laughs> you cannot unhear them now. It will forever be the Ebola song. All right, let's do this. <laughs> no, it's not. It's Ebola. She is saying Ebola. You cannot convince me otherwise. Oh, there's two sprouts! Two sprouts! This is amazing! We, I haven't seen sprouts in a long while. Although I haven't really done much dungeoning lately because I've been romancing my mobster bandos. know what they're doing. <laughs> no, 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 no. Gil is great. Gil is, is, is great. He's like a gentleman. He asks for the MC's like opinion on things. He doesn't pressure her. He's like the perfect man. Just saying. Just saying. Yes! 
who also happens to probably have murdered a few people in his time. But he is not. He's pretty okay. <laughs> that was not in, his, in the route where they were. He was romancing her. Okay, that was in another one where he was. He was fighting against the other mobster bandos, so it, it makes total sense. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Whatever. First boss, first boss. You'll notice the bosses start getting really more complex as the, the expansion goes. I'll tell you though, the dungeons in Endwalker are my favorite thing. I love the dungeons, they're so good. get a lot more dynamic, the mechanics get a little more interesting. You gotta pay attention to a lot of stuff. Like environmental things you gotta pay attention to. Look at his shoulder there, you can see he's got it like on all on fire and stuff. So you got and then the other side, so you gotta stay not on the side of the shoulder. They didn't do a very good job of it. Plus you have to worry about these sides lighting up. Because when that happens, then that gets damaged. So yeah, it's a little more a little more involved. Mythos fan, this, this soundtrack, this theme is fantastic. All right, uh, that side's keeping up. All right, I'm gonna have to probably go over here. There we go. They're starting to catch on. Maybe these guys really are sprouts. Maybe they haven't done this before. They're gonna have fun on the last boss.
I put on those shades. We're gonna be doing a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, holy here. good one. Oops. Oh. Alright, I do have that. Alright. This other, uh, Reaper is kind of just, uh, way back. Oh, shit. Where the hell is he? Uh, the good news is um, there's a live letter from the producer today, so we'll be hearing from Yoshi P about the future of Final Fantasy XIV. It's very exciting. I don't know if I'll watch it. The last live letter took forever to get through, so we'll see. Oh yeah, it's the baddie tantrum. This is This guy throws baddie tantrums. I love it. So is this guy actually playing? Cause like seriously, if he's just gonna sit there and like not do anything the entire time, I'll... Yeah, he's a bad squatch. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Fatty Tantrum. I love it. <laughs> My favorite. song sounds so 80s rock to me. I don't know why, but it does. And I love it for it. It sounds very 80s rock. Like 80s metal.
So this, um, you come out of this, this, this cavern here. And I remember the first time I played this, we got, we did this in the game and like the three of us, it was me and my, the, the husband and a, a friend of mine, we're just like awed. We're like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. <laughs> it was so, it was like this, this, this experience just coming out of that cave and looking at the waterfall and the birds flying and stuff is great. This guy is, is the uh, fucking um, is a bot. He's this dude. This uh, this uh, Aki Zero is a bot of M Noir. I'm telling you, it, that's what this is, and that's why he's being so slow because he's a fucking bot. And the reason why the the, the one dude responded is because he's the one controlling him. Oh. <laughs> I doubt it. He's come up with all these excuses. That's that. In the same room? <laughs> Seriously, like how would he know that fast if he's had a controller? He's a bot. He don't wanna he don't wanna admit it, but he is. You don't want to get banned. The funny thing is when they people get caught body, they get so fucking defensive, but it's it's so easy. It's easy to spot. This doesn't look like an Eros to me. He looks very non-Eros. do it for they eh, people do it because they they use bots to uh, solo stuff they use them to uh, farm stuff there will always be bots
how he's trying to give me shit. 90, but watch the cutscene. Stream in 2K plus for a friend, fucker. Here we go. <laughs> he didn't bleed me. Well, whatever. I I'll be- it'll be funny <laughs> if he actually pops up in this dream. get eaten by arrows. Well, the one guy did, and I don't have my, um, I don't have my sweat cap stuff, so he's just gonna have to wait. That's done. Oh, there, there goes any of my, uh, uh, uh any of my, uh, commendations. Nobody gave me commendations after I started going off like that. I called him out on the fucking, um, the body, and that's why he was pissed. Yeah, they're not getting a comm either. Here we go! 
Yes! Even though, even though Ishtola said that it's not good, but you know what, I don't care. Fucking, just suck it right into me. <laughs> I don't care. I do. <laughs> this is the good stuff! It's the good stuff. Its prayers have been answered. Aye, that they have. Her condition yet troubleth thee? It does. Though she shows no immediate signs of corruption, the danger remains. She must be told. Describe it to me, Marie Angers. Paint for me a picture with your words. A sea of shimmering stars. Diamonds strewn across a raven gown. Boundless and beautiful. It is an exquisite sight, not unlike that of the source. Calm and gentle and forgiving. I can see it. For however deep the void, or wide the expanse, there is no shore so distant as to be beyond the reach of light. Ominous though that may sound, given our present travails. Did she pat him on the back? I think she did. Well fought. Let us return home. They started adding more, like, motion capture to the cutscenes and stuff in this expansion. You'll notice that it's a little more dynamic. The murals. If I am not mistaken, they predate the Empire. How can you tell? A peculiarity of the paint. Most are made from mineral-based pigments. But whatever was used here is older than anything I have ever seen. According to Almut, this sanctuary was built to preserve the wisdom of the ancients. What events do these murals commemorate, I wonder? Must you always linger after defeating your enemies? Navigating these halls on foot is exhausting. Come to lead us to safety, have you? <laughs> I was bored. But how is the hero of the hour? Oh, you're gonna see more of him. Hmm, hero of the hour. Hmm. Fighting fit, I see. Keep up the good work. You're plotting something. Every hour of every day. But never you mind about that. As I have told you a thousand times before, I like to watch. Nothing more. Well, I would quit this place and I suggest you do the same. There is yet work to be done. There is a sight to bring a tear to the eye. 
You recognize these scenes? That I do. Indeed, there was a time when anyone and everyone would. Until one calamitous day when the world was divided across ten and three reflections, sundering the land and all who dwelled upon it. And the worst part? No one could remember it. Not really. Just fragments and fleeting memories of an achingly familiar world. A vision shared of a paradise lost, preserved only in song and scripture and paint. Once upon a time. Yet here we find ourselves again, to look, learn, and remember. Then share with us the stories you know so well. We are listening. Before the great sundering, there was one world. A world that knew naught but peace and prosperity. Until it was faced with a crisis. Unprecedented. Terrifying. Civilization found itself perched upon a precipice, staring into oblivion. But through prayer and sacrifice, the will of the star was made manifest. Zodiac was his name, and by his grace was the calamity averted. Zodiac. This is very important. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> very important. A savior mighty and magnificent. Deserving of reverence and gratitude. One would have thought, yet some thought otherwise. From the fears of these naysayers would rise Hydaelyn. She who was to serve as his shackles. To bind him and hold him in check. And so they fought, and they fought, and they fought, and in the end, Hydaelyn was victorious. With all her strength, she smote him, dealing a blow so devastating that it split the very fabric of reality. And thus was Zodiac banished and his being divided. That concludes today's lesson on long forgotten history. Though I imagine your mother would offer a rather contradictory account, as is her wont. I'm sorry, I can only assume I misheard. But it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydaelyn are not gods. But... What? Not gods of the first? Is that what you thought these paintings depicted? Or... Oh... Oh... They are gods after a fashion, yes. But no different from the kind with which you are so intimately acquainted. Formed of faith and prayer. Of conviction and devotion. Mm-hmm. The eldest and most powerful of primals. Shaq. You have spun quite a tale. Yet you have not explained the role of the Assians in all of this. How is it you are privy to ancient secrets lost to time? <laughs> Finally. Finally, you ask the right question. And shrewd questions warrant honest answers. We Assians know because it is our history, our story.
It was we who summoned Zodiac. We natives of that sundered paradise. Now, do you see why we yearn for the great rejoining? For our world. For our people. For all creation to be made whole again. Wouldn't you wish for the same? What? <laughs> what? Ugh. Okay, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I had to hold it for like half of that dungeon and all that cutscene. Let me go to the bathroom. <laughs> You chew on that lore, lore nugget for a little bit there, BB10. Chew on that lore. Um, yeah, some, that's, uh, and you know what the funny thing is? That's not even the biggest revelation, this expansion. There are a few more that are even bigger. Alright. Thancred did tell me about primals, but I don't fully understand what all of this means. The eldest and most powerful of primals. Gods. If that were Heidelin's origin, then what would that make? No. No, I will not take the words of Anassian on trust. It has to be a lie. Tis oft said truth is a matter of perspective. Yet upon this matter, there can be but one truth. I only pray it is not his. That was an enlightening experience, though not in the way I had hoped. Do you suppose there is any truth in Emmett Selk's claims? Though recent events plainly warrant further discussion, I think it best that we wait until Alphano and the others are present. Emmett Selk included. How convenient that he should choose this moment to keep to the shadows. Well, no matter. For the present, we should return to Fanau and make certain of the Umorans' withdrawal. After that, Slitherbow. The Blessed are no doubt elated by what has become of the sky. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on.
I give it a second here. It like dropped. Completely dropped. Went into the red. It looks like it recovered. I don't know why it randomly does that. I don't tend to have these problems in the summer. So I wonder if it has something to do with the weather. I don't know, but my 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 connection's like fluctuating a little bit here. Alright. It shouldn't be. It might be a Twitch thing, because like the 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 kilobytes per second, if you can see here, like it shouldn't be going this high. I have it capped at 4,500 and it'll like fluctuate from like 6,000 then go all the way down to like 1,500, which makes me think it's a Twitch thing. I shouldn't be doing that. Alright, well it looks like it recovered. Yeah, we're not having any wind. Well, it's a little, little windy out, but it, it's it's uh, it got really cold. It it snowed yesterday. It snowed last night, and we were get this Wednesday. It was 50 degrees. 50 degrees. I don't know if you know what that is. And then it dropped to seven degrees this morning. So a 40 degree, <laughs> 40 degree difference. Okay. Uh oh. <sighs> what? But, uh... All right. Anyways, let's continue. Ah, you are returned, and none the worse for wear. I see. You needn't worry about us. What became of the Yamoran soldiers, more importantly? They turned tail and fled at the sight of the night sky. The children of the Everlasting Dark have also retreated back to Woven Oath. Try as they might, they could not deny the truth of their own eyes. But it's cloudy! <laughs> you can't see the stars. The sunless sea of heaven. Full of love and grace, where none need no pain or suffering. In that moment, when the sky's light began to wane, I knew our prayers had been answered. That we were doomed to face oblivion at life's end no longer. When first we met, I harbored certain suspicions about you. Now I see that I was right. You are the bringers of shadow, the warriors of darkness, the saviors for whom we have prayed for so long. I suppose you're not entirely wrong, but we are not worthy of your reverence, nor have we any desire to be worshipped. If you would pray, pray for your children, that they may one day know a better world. I will do as you say, but please, let us at least hold a feast to celebrate your victory. You deserve that much. I'm sorry, Runar, but there is still much to be done and scant time in which to do it. We must go, all of us, for we share the same path and the same fate. Oh no, Runar is going to lose his waifu. So be it. I ask only that you hold us in your hearts, as we would hold you in ours. Now, and ever after, by the boundless dark, this I swear. There isn't any loot. He's sad. Oh my god, can people not be sad anymore? Ardbert always watching over us. Um, let's look at the MSQ list. 
<laughs> I want to see it. Don't tell you I'm cheating. I'm not cheating. Uh, let's see here. Waste a little bit of time dealing with the stupid internet shits. Okay, so... We are now on Out of the Wood. Okay, so we gotta wait before his word to bleak as well. Alright. Not cheating! Stop it! <laughs> Though it pains me to leave, it is time I returned with you and the others to the Crystarium. But before we go, might I speak with you in private? I will await you in, the cha in my chambers. Oh boy. Oh, how I wish you could stay. But I understand that duty calls and you must answer. Each night, when I gaze up at the sunless sea, I will think of you, of Master Matoya, of all you have done for the night's blessed. Safe travels, my friend, and may the shadows keep you. Thank you for coming. I thought to keep my suspicions to myself. But after witnessing your victory at, at Raktika Falls, I fear they proved true. And so I must share them with you. From the first when we met from the fir ah, from the first when we met at Fort Gone, your ether has appeared tainted, suffused with an overabundance of light not unlike the Sin Eaters. When you defeated the Light Warden, I fear the light which poured forth from it was not negated by Heidelin's blessing. Rather, it was absorbed into your being. Arian J also suspects as much, though he is unwilling to share his thoughts on the matter. One thing is certain, with every Warden you defeat, the danger to you grows greater, greater perhaps than we can imagine. If you begin to feel anything strange, anything at all, pray inform me at once. You should hurry, before the others begin to worry. Once I have sorted my things here, I will join you. <laughs> no, we didn't get any chalky smokes. That's okay, though. That's alright. Um... Alright, so I'm being tainted by the light. <laughs> I'm being tainted by the light, you guys. This isn't good. But I want more of it. <laughs> I just... I kind of crave it now, right? I mean... It's good stuff. But, uh... I'm not supposed to. <laughs> I'm not supposed to. <laughs> but... Let's go kill another Light Warden. It'll be fine. It'll be fine! We took one last patrol of the perimeter. All things considered, Slitherbow remains relatively unscathed. Thanks to the antidote, all those who were poisoned will make a full recovery. <laughs> make a full recovery. Oh my god, why did I, th why did I think of Chubby Emu? <laughs> and with the night sky returned, their prayers have at last been answered. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Shall we be off then? Art thou certain this is best? I'll not deny there is a part of me that wishes I could stay. For two years I have lived with the Blessed, learned their culture, even going so far as to adopt Master Matoya's name as my own. I but pray I did honor to it. Now is not the time for doubt or hesitation. Come, we must return to the Crystarium. It'll, I'm telling you, it'll be fine. It's fine. Stop worrying your pretty little heads. I can take it. I can take all of the light and more. We'll be good. We'll be good. Alright, so we gotta get back to the Crystarium. Ah. 
was passing strange to see the Crystarium so seemingly desolate. Yet it appears all is well. I know he said he would, we would be watching from the shadows, but doesn't it seem wrong to leave without at least telling Emmett Selk? Hopefully the others will arrive before long. All things considered, it is hardly surprising that Alphano and Alice have yet to arrive. But where is the Exarch? My friends, tis good to see you all again. Alphano, it has been too long. I assume your presence here means you've brought word of the warden hiding in Ratika. Found and slain, you say? I should have known. The Ulmor has but recently dispatched soldiers to all corners of Norvrant to defend them. I am glad to see their efforts were wasted on the Great Wood. Speaking of Ulmor, what came of your meeting with Fothry? Yes, about that. It proved to be... Ugh! Exarch, you mustn't push yourself. Your time away from the tower has clearly taken its toll. No doubt you all, all are tired as well, having traveled so far. Why don't we all take a much-needed rest before we discuss our findings? I thought to propose the very same. After your clash with the Warden, you deserve a chance to recuperate. It's settled, then. We reconvene after everyone has had time to settle in. Uh-oh. Connection's getting spotty again. Sometimes I wonder if it's not like a, a, a both. <laughs> it's not a. It's not both Twitch and Comcast. Oi, oi. It was go it was so good for so long. So good. Alright. Welcome back, miss. Returned from a lengthy excursion, I take it. Well, your room has been made ready, if you'd care to retire. Alright. Is, you know we're gonna go into our room and we're gonna see Ardbert again because Ardbert's always popping up when we go to our room. So there's a light sealed inside you, is there? You wouldn't know it from the outside. You look the same as you ever did to me. What if it changes? What if it overwhelms me? I'm damned if I know. It's not as if I can lift a finger to help myself, much less you. Well, thanks. Have faith in your friends, look out for them, and hope that they look out for you. What more can you do? Think he was telling the truth? Emmett, I mean. All that rot about Heidlin being no different from any other primal. If so, what would that make her blessing? Are we just slaves to her will? Uh-oh. Hmm. Ah, let's pay him no mind. Lies the Asian stock in trade. Villains, heroes, all a matter of perspective, they'd have you believe. One man's fond memory, another's waking nightmare. Me, I'm no saint or savior. Just another sinner. And I know damn well I'm in no position to judge. When I saw the people of Slitherbow look up at the sky and celebrate the return of the dark, 
felt good. It was moments like that that I cherished. Much more than the thrill of adventure. The quiet after the storm. I always took comfort in that. So we did miss that cutscene. Oh well, it was just another one of them seeing the sky, night sky return. Oh wait, wait, meanwhile and grandma, we gotta list, we gotta watch this part. I love my meanwhiles. What did the scouts have to report? Several skirmishes, but nothing of consequence. The fighting seems to have taken its toll on both sides. A stalemate, then. The Alliance has done well to hold the line for so long. <laughs> but then they did have Ishgardian reinforcements. Nevertheless, neither side has any appetite for a prolonged engagement. Tis but the calm before the storm. And should the Empire choose to bring their full might to bear? To say nothing of Black Rose. All the more reason to hasten our search. How close are your people to identifying our next target? Close enough. Though I have received some troubling intelligence. One of our generals posted to the Alamegan front recently disappeared without trace from the battlefield at Gimlet Dark. Odd. Dead seems unlikely. Fled less so. I wonder where he'll turn up. Were I a betting man, I would say here, in the capital. Not that any deserter who valued his life would contemplate returning, but a corpse might given the right encouragement. <laughs> In the manner of his royal remains, you mean? Elidibus plainly has no need of a new host. So the question becomes who? It may be that another player has joined the game. Something to consider at any rate. But come, there is work to be done interesting all of these things happening at the same time Ugh. what uh -oh. these bloodless games make for poor sport fuck's sake it's xenos may happy father i am a stranger to him in this body besides there is but one hand that can make me whole again. My enemy. My friend. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> See, no I stop! I know not what entertainment occupies you. But if you will not clear the way for me, then I shall seize the reins of fate once more. Oh my god. I don't want him to be my husband, though, okay? I don't want Xenos. To be my husband, though. That dude is nuts. He's nuts, and he's not even an entertaining dick, okay? I just don't like him. <laughs> he does want his butt back. Finished the part one of New Game Plus for Shadowbringers. Okay, so I guess that means we're halfway through the um, base 
game, the base expansion. Wow. I guess so. <sighs> Though the warriors of darkness have succeeded in restoring the night to the Rectica Greatwood, and much of Norvrand yet remains shrouded in primordial light, its denizens at the mercy of the abominations known as Sin Eaters. Burdened by the unsettling truths revealed to them by the Asian M itself, the heroes forge on along their chosen path. The path of a villainy. Interesting. Alright, let's continue that. This is there's a lot to this expansion. There is. There is. It's pretty long. I suspected you might be awake. I could scarce imagine you sleeping through such a commotion. An entire host of sin eaters appears to be advancing upon the Crystarium. Emergency measures are being taken as we speak. Most assured, however, that we are safe so long as we remain under the Crystal Tower's aegis. You may return to your quarters if you wish. Oh no. Oh no, we're not returning to quarters. Yes, I thought you might feel that way, and I cannot say that your assistance would be anything less than welcome. I must remain here to disseminate information to the other residents, but you are under no such obligation, and thus free to aid in any of the townsfolk, any of the townsfolk who may be in distress. The Exedra tends to become a point of congregation in times of need, crowded with those seeking solace and companionship. You would have my personal gratitude if you could offer succor to those in need. Are those there or whatever all right so what's going on sin eaters are coming huh uh oh connection getting spotty again went to the right a little bit hopefully you're not buffering what the hell hold on uh, speed test. Just make sure this is... I hope it's not another Comcast problem. Ow. Alright. Okay, good. Townsfolk are about, and you spy none who appear to be in distress. Rislin! I'm only just returned from Amarang, yet I find the Crystarium moments from being beset by Sith Eaters. Where are they coming from? It shouldn't be possible. We restored the darkness. Well, this is a fortunate coincidence. Brother! Tell me we have some idea why this is happening. I may, but for the moment we'll need to postpone such discussions in favor of action. The Crystal Exarch is preparing to deploy a barrier around the Crystarium as we speak. Ensuring that he is able to do so should be our first concern. There are a number of instruments placed around about the Crystarium that function as anchors for the barrier. I'm on my way to activate them now. In which case, three pairs of hands would be better than one? Very well. I'll take the ones to the south. I shall deal with the northern apparatus, then. Will you handle the western two? Western two? They're ensconced on platforms extending from the upper level of the Aetherite Plaza. Uh-oh. Nixie's crying. Oh, no. Do you hear her? She's loud. Hold on. I think she found her mouse. Anixia, what? Why are you crying? Did you find the pretty loud pretty pretty loud yeah she just and she only always says it when she has her mouse I don't know why okay I 
Even now she was like, what the heck's going on? Oh, wait, do I have to go up? Oh yeah, I have to go up here. Oof, oof. Well, she's like not used to hearing Nick's ears cry like that. And then Chewie snores, yep. Despite having very little, or having very little idea as to how it functions, it appears that you have activated the device successfully. Again, do another one? making us run all over. That, I thought that too. <laughs> I thought that too. City decided they're coming. Nixie is scared of the city eaters, clearly. Excellent. The barrier is holding. That's good news for the Crystarian, but what of the rest of Lakeland? Lena and the city guard have taken to the field. Thancred and the others have already joined them. Let us do the same. Man, we don't even get any time to just chill. It's like, as soon as we like have a victory, some shit happens. Oh, here we go. Alright, we're gonna do this. Oh. I have more, but wait, we're getting... Yeah, whatever. We have to join the Vanguard as soon as possible. The number of eaters we just saw as any, any, any indication will be facing a formidable post. This doesn't look good. And it's raining. That's lovely weather. Just what we needed. Seems the battle has already begun in earnest. Make haste! Just 
Asterian forces are engaging the Sin Eaters at various locations across Lakeland. Assist them in defeating the Eaters before they are decimated. Uh oh. Let's go. I hear shouting. Come on. Ooh, Let's give good. it our all. Gotta keep going. I should have just come as a tank. I should have just gone. This guy needs to be healed. Uh -oh. oh yes, you knew it was coming. God, come on, Ellie, say I can't keep up! Ugh. Alphanel. There. Okay, so what are we doing? Uh. Oh, jeez. I don't know where to go! They split up! I guess I just start killing everything. of them. <laughs> Too many. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get in here. Oh shit. Orion Jade, it's blowing up in there. You will rue the day you cross my mind. It was not. Damn. Totally just blew shit up. Oh, as if you none of your own. Let's make for the imperative, shall we? Someone hath made short work of these eaters. Yeah, that was us. <laughs> that was me. Thanks for the compliment. 
Ooh, thank her in Philia. Listen, you'll be glad to know that the locals have all taken self shelter. Nevertheless, we can't allow the eaters to gain any ground with me. Or he says with me. Alright. Other side? Oh, my, probably is. I'll follow the eater. You press on to the imperative. I'd stay with you! Yes, you are. Lost too many already. You must hurry. These eaters are too organized. They cannot merely be acting as instinct. Uh oh. It is as we feared. Task is as it ever was. Turn the tide. I, I, you may be right. The lives of the wounded are in our hands. Okay, so we gotta heal these guys. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. I think you may be onto something there. But how the heck is Fatis Chocobo doing it? How is he controlling the Sin Eaters? Have a ring, maybe. Oh my gosh, there's tons. They're all coming. I don't know if we'll be able to, to survive this, you guys. We're just getting overwhelmed. Or maybe he just feeds them pizza. He might feed them pizza. That might be it. Oh man, she hits kinda hard. I don't think I should be tanking her. Thankard, where the fuck is Thankard? He should be tanking this. Oh no. Somebody made another nasty shit. Oh god, why do I always do it when I'm in the middle of a fight? I can't stop! <laughs> why? <laughs> oh. So I gotta sit here until this is done and smell the nasty cat crap. <laughs> no! Every time. I 
will not be outdone. Theory and practice. Wait, that was it? It had been barely anything. Alright. There's so much shit going on here. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Oh, she's still, uh... Still thanking her. Oh god, there's tons! They're all coming! <laughs> oh, you see what they keep coming. The stars shall grant thee, sucker. Will they? Really? They? they will grant thee, sucker. Take heart and steal! Oh, it had a been Chewy. Yeah, the, no, it was a Nixia. Oh, Chewy still on the chair. <laughs> she was on her bed. It was a Nixia. Oh. There are so many. a little while longer. Reinforcements are coming, remember? The captain said so. We're going to be all right. Oh, no. Run! Run, damn you! <laughs> no, no one can hear him! The warrior of darkness has returned. The bloody night has returned. So stay with me, eh? You can't go dying now. Please let this work. Please let this work. No. No, no. Stay back. Stay back. me why what have I done to deserve this mercy forward forward 
If you can still hold a sword, follow me! Wounded to the rear! Weapons at the ready! Let's make this count! Fight and struggle. Seek salvation by your own hands. Though the losses be grave, endure them. Though the victories be hollow, claim them. We fight, and we fight, and we struggle, and we make these teeny baby steps, but then everything just goes to shit. I feel like we can just, just, oh. Seems, seems we've driven them back, for the time being at least. The wounded have been collected and are undergoing treatment now. Once they are ready to be moved, we'll have them called back to the Crystarium. The dead as well, of course. Those whose bodies remain, anyway. <laughs> when it rains. That was a perfect quest name. Oh, what's Friday? It's very slow. Alright. The others are helping to treat the wounded. I'm planning to assist in moving them. But even so... You simply don't have enough hands. I'm sure you're fit to fall over after what we've been through. God's knows I am. But if you could see to a few of the patients, it would be an enormous help. Captain Lena is about somewhere, so you might also consider asking her if there are any other outstanding areas of need. We'll talk later. Alright, let me get that up so I can see. Go, keep an eye on the connection. She is okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness Lena is okay. I I <sighs> Okay, I don't I wanna wheeze. It'll screw up my ears. With tear filled eyes, the prone man gazes up at you. His fingers twitch as if to reach for you. But he lacks the strength to raise his hand. I can tell today if I wheeze. If I wheeze, my ears are going to get messed up, so. But they have been better recently. Better since I got sick, actually, which is kind of weird. Anybody in here? Thank you, but it's too late. One of them, it got me. <coughs> if I turn, please, please kill me, I beg you. Oh boy. I don't want to kill these people. <laughs> you guys. It's not even an Ardbert and Seto moment, and I, I just feel like crying. Where is this last person? Is he in the house? It's gonna be ugly crying. You know there will be. Alright, not there. Oh, here he is. Trembling guard. Touch me. I... I... I killed her. I killed her. She was one of them, I know, but I... Oh! Uh. <laughs> no, this is horrible. Why? Why does this game hurt? Why does this game hurt? 
Oh no, it's Lena. Hopefully she's okay. Oh, I did not see you there. Is there something you need? I'm fine. How are you feeling? Injuries are part and parcel of battle. While there's breath in my lungs, I shall see my duties done. Don't pretend you're not of the same mind. You fought well today. Saved a great many lives. Thank you. Unfortunately, this war is far from over. We must replenish our ranks and sure up our defenses before they attack again. Now, if you will excuse me. on the airship. I think he's just uh, transmitting it. <laughs> Alright. Father's ship is already gone. Flattering that he came all this way just to give his little speech. I apologize for my earlier outburst. Burst. Rest assured that I have no intention of allowing any of my views to affect the performance of my duties. Especially not now. I guess he did. <laughs> if I may, could I ask that you seek out Thancred and Minfilia for me? They endangered themselves on my behalf, and I would feel better knowing that they are well looked after. Thancred, in particular, sustained quite an injury from that senator. I would not be surprised if he were in spy Spagyric still. Please, give them my thanks. Spagyric, you say? Oh, okay.
here for me. I'm sorry to put you out, put you to the trouble. I'm fine, really. The eaters I landed on. The eater landed an unfortunate solid blow, but the healers were here have done wonders. I'm worried, more worried about Minfilia. She's not taking it well. Could I ask you to speak with her? My attempts to reach out seem to have had the opposite effect. She's gone off to the Horatorium, ostensibly to fetch herbs for Chesamil. But just talk to her, will you? I'll go talk to her, but she's your daughter, and you need to be um, treating her a little more gently. Alright, so that's the crystal you need, maybe? He treats her like a daughter, because he treat... He, the original Minfilia, he basically... No! I... You know what? Why you come in these streams halfway through and you don't know who the fattest chocobo is, okay? The fattest chocobo is Fothry. <laughs> I love how the peanut gallery just pops up out of nowhere. Alright, anyways. Minfilia, the original Minfilia, Bancred basically was kind of her surrogate father type thing. Kind of treated like like it. Uh, where are we going? Here. Maybe? Maybe we should go here. Yeah, it's not very well um, conveyed in ARR, and, but supposedly it was very obvious in the storytelling and the storyline from 1.0 before they redid the whole game. And there was actually... There was actually a, uh, an article somewhere, um... The, the husband found it today, but there was there was an article about talking about how that 1.0's lore really needs to be available somewhere because there's a lot of stuff in there that's referenced later on in ARR that um, would really be great and make a lot more sense if uh, it was available. Can I go in here? How the where the hell is she? <sighs> do I have to go to the crystalline mean? I do not like the layout of the city. I guess we're going to the crystalline mean. How do I get down there? Like, seriously. Alright, Cabinet of Curiosity, maybe? I know, but I don't... It's not letting me get to that area. Alright, this must be it. There she is. Minfilia appears to be lost in thought. Perhaps a gentle poke will get her attention. Eep! Oh, Rislin! What are you doing here? Thank Red. It's my fault, you know. I jumped at the chance to help Lena was careless. And now... It, it's my fault. You can make up for it by being there for him. I... Are you sure? I've brought him nothing but trouble thus far. And what if it's worse next time? All I do is make mistakes, put others in danger. I'm sure that he'll resent me for being this weak. Maybe he already does. But you're right. I can still help. If only by being these, seeing these herbs safely to Chesamil. There are only two left on the list, but I'll need to ask about this one. I looked high and low, and I can't seem to find it anywhere. 
would you mind collecting the other? I would hate to delay any longer than I already have. You're looking for something with soft leaves that's very fa fragrant, in an unmistakably medicinal way, I was told. You only need two sprigs of it. Once you've got them, you can bring them directly to Chesamil. Whoever gets there first can explain that the other will be back shortly. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Oh, great. Now I gotta look for these freaking herbs. In here, maybe? Could these be it? The plant? This plant has soft leaves and smells strongly medicinal. Oh, I need more. This plant has soft leaves and also smells strongly medicinal. With this, I can replenish our store of medicines. We're struggling to keep up with the number of wounded that are being brought in. I wasn't on the field, but it doesn't matter. Patients' faces make plain that it was a horrible battle. And we're still fighting it, I suppose. Though with bitter medicine rather than sharp steel. But we'll win. I promise you that. Seems that I owe you an apology for dragging you to yet another battlefield when you've just come off the front lines. In both cases, I'm sure your efforts saved more than a few. With Spagyrex in good working order, the Crystarium's people will be well cared for. More lie ahead, of course. Battles only you can fight. Not that we intended to let you do it alone, but that's a matter to discuss with the Exarch. You know the Exarch. We do. Was there something you needed? I need you to tell him something. For me. Your dearest friend, you see. He was there on the battlefield with me. But only the one of us is here to speak of it. At the end, before the wound killed him, I heard his dying words. I never knew that our world was this beautiful, he told me. I'm so glad that I got to see the night sky. I don't know how the Exarch feels about what happened out there. I don't know if what Valtteri said is true. If our losses were our just desserts, and we doom ourselves to worse by continuing to fight this fight. But I believe in the world at Warrior of Darkness. The Crystal Exarch. I don't think what, that they, what they've done is wrong. I don't think we're wrong to fight with them either. My friend, he smiled in the end. Just as he smiled when he raised his glass to celebrate the return of the light. That's how I want to remember him. So I... I want to tell the Exarch. Don't give up. Don't give in. Please. We'll tell him. You have my word. Alright, we got to keep fighting for the peoples. For the peoples. We can't give in. If I were stronger, how many people would still be alive? If you're ready, why not go on ahead to the ocular? We can keep the Exar company while I... F or you can keep the Exar company while I fetch Alpha now. Don't worry, I mean to borrow the swiftest armor I can find. So we shouldn't keep you long. Be sure to pass on that message, eh? 
Yes. We gotta keep fighting. We gotta keep fighting. Fuck Bothry. Oh, sorry. I'm not supposed to cuss. I'm not supposed to cuss. <laughs> Screw Bothry. <laughs> yes, a very swift turbo turkey. Welcome, my friend. Tales of your heroism on the battlefield precede you, though I confess I found them more gladdening than surprising. I hear no few of our people have you to thank for plucking them from the jaws of death, with that they had not needed saving to begin with, but the responsibility for that lies with me. One of our soldiers said that. Thank you. Rest assured that I fully intend to continue our work. I will not shrink from what must be done, now least of all. Though I mourn the loss, I will not lose myself to grief. And even should we regret, should regret be my constant companion, I will follow the path I have chosen to its end. Hmm. We have some time before the others arrive, would if you'd like to talk. And if I were to confess any doubts I might harbor, no one need ever know? No, I believe you have enough burdens without my adding to them. Nevertheless, thank you. Just trying to give you a shoulder to lean on. Friends, with your aid, we have weathered a brutal assault. <laughs> Great. Sorry I'm late, though I would not have been had anyone thought to notify me in advance. <laughs> As I was saying, it was only with your aid that we weathered this assault. Without it, the Crystarium and all who dwell here would now be gone. For each we saved, another perished. If there is anything else we can do to help, anything at all, you need only ask. This is our home too, and we want nothing more than to keep it safe. Thank you. We are blessed to have you with us. As for the attack itself, Vorthri may call it divine retribution, but Sin Eaters are creatures of instinct. A coordinated assault is unprecedented. Moreover, in the absence of a light warden, there should have been no compulsion for lesser Sin Eaters to congregate here en masse. All of which points to a single, unavoidable conclusion. That these minions of light answer to a higher power. He who did claim kinship with them, who did boast of control, not in idleness, twould seem, but in earnest. Lord Vorthry. Indeed. What I mistook for bluster was in fact the truth. The Sin Eaters are his to command. But if he imagines this show of force will convince us to bend the knee, he is sorely mistaken. I take it your meeting in Yulmore did not end well. You could say that, yes. But I am wiser for the experience, nevertheless. It appears he has mastered a technique which allows him to enslave the minds of others. A fact I discovered when he attempted to use it on me. And that would go some way towards explaining the peculiar reverence afforded him by his subjects. There may feasibly be a handful of true believers among them, I suppose. But it would not surprise me if the vast majority were in his thrall. Hmm. Had I not anticipated his treachery, I might well have joined them. But seeing his invitation for what it was, I sent a glamour in my stead. I rather doubt such tricks will avail me a second time, however. 
<laughs> yes, and I need to temper tantrum. <laughs> Did you have any luck tracking down the light warden in Calusia? Sadly, I have nothing to report on that front. What of Armorang? After a fruitless few days scouring ruins, I resorted to asking the locals. While no one I spoke to had seen any sign of the Warden, I did uncover a possible lead. An abandoned mine in Western Amarang. From what the Maud told me, it would be a perfect place to stay out of sight. Of course, I could never hope to explore such a labyrinth quickly or safely on my own, so I returned here. Even should we all join in the endeavor, an exhaustive search could take weeks, and with no guarantee of finding anything. The Wardens harbor vast reservoirs of primordial light, do they not? Far beyond anything found in lesser Sin Eaters. And isn't it true that the Oracle could see the light of a Sin Eater from miles away? Surely a Warden would seem like a blazing beacon by comparison! To the real Oracle of Light, I mean. The real Menphilia. If we travel to Armoreg, to the south where she halted the flood, I could summon her back. What do you think? Oh no, don't do it! Don't do it. Don't. Don't what? Do what I can. What we both know is right. Do not presume to know my mind. You have no idea what you're proposing. But I do! I know why you never said anything. Because you thought you could keep me safe by keeping me in the dark. And maybe I thought so too. But I knew, Venkret. I always knew. Oh, I see. I thought you were a rather underwhelming reincarnation, but it all makes sense now. <laughs> Shut up! Oh my god. The Oracle lies dormant within you, doesn't she? But to draw on her true power, you must become one, both body and soul. To wit, one being must consume the other. Who shall be the lucky winner? This doesn't concern you, Asian. But it plainly concerns you. Which is why your heart is ready to burst out of your chest. Despite the raging tempest in your bosom, however, you have never once opened up to your young charge. Now why would that be? Well, I, for one, think it's a marvelous idea. Certainly more promising than any of your other suggestions. So, it's off to Armorang we go. I'll meet you at the gates. Why did I get so mad? I know the story, but it still makes me mad. <coughs> this is the course we have agreed upon. I will not object, though I am afraid it will be difficult for us to spare any of the guard to accompany you. I can but promise that you will be well looked after upon your return. Just see to it that you do return, alright? I can't imagine that Thancred must be feeling... What, what Thangford must be feeling to behave this way. To say he's changed since coming here would be an understatement. He may as well be a different person. He reminds me of... Ah, he reminds me of Father. He argued with us for months about our plan to go to Eorzea, but in the end, he accepted our decision. I do hope he's doing well. 
If I had only been able to locate Calusia's Light Warden, I might not have come to this. Menphilia demonstrated impressive resolve just now. It seems that she understands what must be, must be done, though I do wonder if she is truly prepared to make the choice. Should she falter, it will fall to Thancred to guide her, however much he wishes it were otherwise. Um, no. That was Grandfather. Their father is still alive. Grandfather's dead. The Thancred hath long known whither this path doth, doth lead. His journey hath brought him no closer to acceptance. Don't don't you worry. Don't you worry, BB-10. We are going to meet Forchino, um Le Vailleur by the end of this expansion. Which is their father. <sighs> Ah, oh, will you never grow tired of shuffling your feet? If you have something to ask me, ask. Tell me about Zodiac. As I told you before, Zodiac is the creation of my people. The first people. We summoned him, as your kind might summon a primal, albeit an infinitely more powerful one. And like one of your primals, he tempered us. It was only natural. There is no resisting such power. And so we Asians came to exist solely to bring about the rule of darkness. His darkness. Of course, some would call us evil for it. And they would be fools. Though that is only to be expected, given their innate inability to conceive of the nature of our universe. But I believe I am repeating myself. Do you not trust me to speak honestly? Do you hope to catch me in a lie? Really? I have no need of deception, and even if I did, I assure you, you would find it quite indistinguishable from the truth. <laughs> Don't tell me that Emmett Selk's not, not like, growing on you, BB-10. Don't tell me he's not growing on you. I'm so sorry to be so insistent, but I know this is the only way. If you're willing to give me a chance, come with us. Yes! Yes! You are going to love Emmett Selk! I swear to you, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Nobody can get through the entire story of this entire game and not end up liking Emmett Selk. Okay, maybe there are a few people, but still. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta... Alright, so where are we? But, now think about this. Remember when I said you were going to like Ardbert? You were going to like the Warrior of Darkness? Don't tell me you don't like Ardbert. Because you know Ardbert. That guy, every time he pops up, and he starts, like, having this most horrible, like, emotional turmoil. You can't hate him, okay? You can't hate Ardbert. It's just not possible. You don't like Ardbert? Oh. Look, I would, if he wasn't a ghost, he would totally be on my husbando list. I'm just saying, he would. But he's a ghost. Sorry for the wait. I'm ready now. You sure you want to do this? Completely sure. Plus his voice actor is fantastic. Fantastic. Look, no matter what happens to me, I'm sure that I don't want to go back to being who I was. I want to be stronger. Strong enough to face my destiny. And I want to believe that I can play a part in saving this world. You can find it in yourself to believe it, too. When you put it that way, how could we not? It is your decision to make. Just be sure that you are prepared when the time comes. If all are assembled, shall we depart? We'll follow your, follow your lead. What route would you have us take? 
About that, there's something I neglected to mention. I saw a Yomoran airship coming in to land over Amarang while I was on my way back to the Crystarium. No doubt the same vessel that bore Vothri's vo forces to Rektika. Meaning we can expect to encounter armed resistance on our journey through the region. Right. Now, Nabath Arang lies in the southern reaches of Amarang, and there are two there are two routes routes we can take to get there. The first is the eastern route, which would lead us past Port Souk. The other is the western route, which would require us to pass through the Hills of Amber. And Philia and I took the eastern route last time. Yes, that's the more well-trodden path. It also makes for easier traversal of the Nabath Severance. But we can't use it. If we did, we'd need to cross the Severance from a point nearby the inn at Journey's Head. If the Yomorans caught wind of our approach, it could very well bring them into contact with the inn and its pa patients. And we can be sure their activities would not meet with Bothry's approval. Will make the journey more arduous, but I believe it would be safer to take the western route. Which brings me to my proposition. While well, you make for the hills of Amber in the west, I will draw the Umoran's attention elsewhere, to an area in the east that I know to be uninhabited. That way, you'll have a chance at reaching Nabatharang unopposed and without risk to civilians. Hmm, I cannot deny that it's a sound plan, but nor can I allow you to go alone. Skills will make your task at least somewhat easier, will they not? I will accompany you as well. I will. It will afford us a chance to have a proper conversation. And if I go with the others, I'm likely to say something Thancred will regret. <laughs> oh man. Well then, we'll leave the work of distracting Bothry's forces to you. The rest of us will take the western route and try to avoid attracting attention. With that in mind, I think it best that we follow the road from the bridges. We'll move faster with a solid path under our feet. We'll borrow a few Amro for our journey. Our own journey. I leave the rest of you, Minfilia. Thank you. I'll try not to disappoint. <laughs> Say something to Thancred. It's not gonna like. <laughs> oh, speaker Thancred. Where is he? All the way out there. Alright, fine. So, okay. Uh, I'm gonna fess up. There's actually another reason why Ardbert's not on my, um, my husbando list. I can't tell you why now. Because it'd be a huge spoiler. But, I do love Ardbert. I do, I love him. So. Yeah, now, now you're interested. Now you're curious. Would that we all had thy sur surety of purpose. We'll need to move, more, move quickly. The longer the others need to keep the Yomorans busy, the more likely they are to be caught. There you are. The gate leading to Amarang is just a bad. In all the time I've been there, here, I've never ventured into the Hills of Amber. Not that I'm particularly intimidated by new lands at this point. But we have more than enough reasons to be cautious as it, as it is. Yes, we're flying away. Hey, genocide. Keep an eye on Menphilia for me, would you? Alright. And why? Well, you know what? I was like, if he's evil, how would I love him? love love Ardbert? But you know me. I like evil characters. I, I actually like romancing evil characters. So that wouldn't be a good excuse for a good excuse. Oh my god, I'm getting all tied up here. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah. 
Uh, who shall walk among us upon our return, I wonder? Amarang uh, lies just beyond the gate. We need only speak to the sentry. I'm ready. Let's go. Off so soon, Mistress Hollis. We barely had time to recover from the battle. Well, if you're certain, I'm hardly in a position to question you. Take comfort in the bonds you share. Accept the pain when the time comes to part. Press on, for joy and sorrow walk hand in hand. Beyond Mount Garik lie the hills of amber, beneath which run hidden veins of mineral wealth. Or ran, at least. Mayhap they are spent. Or mayhap. The ringing of hammers can yet be heard below. <laughs> there are dwarves. There are dwarves in this uh, in in Norrant. We've seen one. We saw um. Uh, what was the one that I love? That's from the um, healing quest line. Um, shit. What's the. You were upstairs. Damn it. That's not Lamit. She was one of the warriors of the darkness. Whatever. The one who's a drunk. I love her. I love her. And she is totally a drunk. Okay. Ah, south. Sound though Mistress Alice's logic was, I fear the road less traveled hath other perils in store for us. Village so near. How convenient. <laughs> this place has been scarred by the flood, too. Who can say what lies ahead? But whatever else this road may be, it is mine to travel. And I don't plan to take a moment of the time I spend upon it for granted. It's not Lummy. It's, um, Gyat! Gyat! That's it! Gyat is the best. Yat is the best dwarf in this entire game. I'm gonna have to do those healing quests for you so you get to see her. She's so great. She's so great. She's not only she's not only a drunk, she's a sailor mouth. <laughs> and I feel like like maybe she's what I would be if I was in this game. <laughs> I kinda feel that way. Alright. I take it you're seeing what I'm seeing. Finding a village when we're hardly ten paces into the hills is a, is a surprising stroke of luck, especially given our recent fortunes. But you won't hear any complaints from me. Let's see if the folk who live here can tell us what to expect from the road ahead. I said we are on free trade. Oh yeah, <laughs> we gotta. We're we're not getting to the next the next dungeon this week. We'll get it next week. No, I don't smoke. Or, I'm small. Yeah, small, cursing, and drunk. Totally me, too. Um. Let's go. You sell? No, no, you are no merchants. But then, why do I know your face? Hmm. Oh, I remember! You spent a Verbert gold! <gasps> Such a coin purse cracking! You are already a legend among morgue traders! You're a traveling merchant, then. Can you tell us anything of this village? Of course! Anything for valued customers! This place is Garrick. Before the flood, it was home to many miners. After, not so many. No, none. So Master Gengen borrowed the village, made it into a trading post. Very convenient location. In which case, you all must be familiar with the local roads, correct? We're on our way to Nabath Arang ourselves. If we continue south from here, will we have any difficulties reaching it? Oh yes, great difficulty. The flood rent the stone and crushed the mine surrounding Nabath Arang. 
Only steep cliffs and collapsed tunnels remain. Oh no. But surely there must be some way. Do you think any of the other board might have some sort of hidden route? Perhaps. You ask, they tell. Tell for free, even, to friends of our best customer. Wonderful. Thank you for your help. Well then, best customer. Let's see what information your, your reputation buys us. Ugh, best customer. For Nabatharang, airship is best! Nothing is faster than an airship. The Umorans have one, I hear. You can ask them to take you. Though it seems somewhat superfluous to do so, you dutifully make note of Gangan's words. Were there a pet dino? Oh, I had a pet dino. I don't know. You wish to go to Nabatharang? Hmm. There is, was a way, once, a gondola down from the cliffs, but it was built for those who had left something behind that they wished to retrieve. Now, there is nothing left, and no one to use it. You may search for it if you like, but I doubt that it, its rusted wires would bear your weight. You hastily take down a memo regarding the gondola on a spare scrap of parchment. I don't think any of those are either of those are gonna work. Oh, who's Oriange talking to? Perhaps we ought to inquire upon the matter of Yomoran forces in the region as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, over here? Oh, those are kind of dinos. They're like li more like lizards though. Oh, that is a surprise. Not many bound for Nabatharang these days. I do know of a trolley that once went there. It used to travel between all the settlements and mines of the Hills of Amber. It is locked behind a gate, however. I assume that will have kept it from being stolen or damaged, but it also prevents it from being of much use. We take down information regarding the trolley on a wrinkled piece of parchment before stuffing it unceremoniously back into your bag. Rizlin, I'm afraid I've learned a little of use about how to breach Nabat the Rang. The Umoran presence, though, that's another matter. Apparently, though their army is definitely in Amarang, there have been no sightings of Yomorans at all in the Hills of Amber. Perhaps we can take that as a sign that Elise's plan has borne fruit. Did you have any better luck finding, out a, finding us a route forward? Oh, I got all these little pieces of papers. So these are our options. Well, what do you think? I think, gate aside, the trolley seems most feasible. You can get an airship anywhere? Not from Bothry, obviously. Now I'll go with the trolley. It does seem to be the least risky of our options. I can't imagine one gate is enough to thwart you. I'd like to know a bit more before we dash off in search of it, though. Perhaps Junjun can offer some insight. Oh, valued customers! Were the more were the other more of help? Of a fashion, they told us of a trolley that runs to Nabatha Ring, at least. But am I correct in thinking that there was a reason you did not do so yourself when first we asked? Hmm, yes. The gate, you see. It is impassable. Before, there was a hulking thing of stone. The talus. It opened the gate, they say. But none operate such a thing now. I do not even know if it yet exists. I do not know, but... You should travel east to the Mount Baron Mines. That is where the trolley controls stand. 
I still see miners there from time to time. If anyone knows what happened to the talus. It would be them. Thank you. You've been a great help. We're off to Mount Byron, then. Let's hope that someone will be there to answer our questions. Trolley problem. Mayhap the pall of light is the root of this land's desolation, or mayhap the fault lies with man and his insatiable greed. What a sight! Oh, pardon me. It, it's only. It's a bit daunting, isn't it? The skill of the track is impressive. I'll give them that. Now we only need to follow it until we, if we come to the mines. You gotta admit, this song is pretty good. This is this is a, the ultimate chill out song. Like I could just sit in the zone and just zone, <laughs> just zone out. <laughs> I totally good. I know they're trying to get rid of the sky, but I do think it's very pretty with the light shining down like that. I mean, I guess if you're seeing that's all you ever see, you'd get tired of it, but it's very pretty. <clears throat> Bit of a mess, isn't it? But the mechanisms for dispatching the trolley are here, just as Junjun said. Unfortunately, anyone who might know how to use them is not. We might wait for Zhuzhun's mysterious miners to appear or have a look around and see if we can deduce anything useful in their absence. I'm in favor of the latter. Something near the entrance to the mines proper caught Orianje's eye. Meet us there if you find anything. <laughs> yeah, it's true. If you have to look at it all, t all the time, but like... Right now isn't that bad. Alright, we gotta find some stuff. Anything good here? Well, we're fixing that now. What the heck is... Oh, trolley car right here. The benches within suggest that this must have been a passenger car. Oddly enough, though it is clearly old, it appears to be well maintained. Flecks of rust adorn the rails, but they nevertheless appear sturdy enough to bear the trolley without issue. Conspicuous cup. The cup is slightly warm, and a fair bit, a fair amount of tea steeped over long in the, if the color is any indication, remains within. Clearly, Rislin is a tea connoisseur. Ah, Rislin, what hast thou discerned? I see. Indeed, thine observations are consistent with mine own. But let us refrain from further discussion ere our comrades arrive. Ample evidence of recent maintenance, and lukewarm tea besides. for switching tracks looked like they were in good condition. 
though I couldn't move them myself. No ordinary person could, I think. It is my belief that no person is meant to. This talus beareth more than a passing resemblance to golems of the source. Nor doth it appear to be the sole example of its kind. The prol proliferation of talus fragments, as well as the enormity of the mechanisms here, suggest a considerable number were once in operation. Alas, this specimen and its fellows now lie lifeless and broken, and I know not how to repair them that they might facilitate our passage through the gate. Without the aid of the talus, even if thou wert somehow able to unbar the trolley's path, we would still have no means of propelling it. We might not know how to repair the talus, but someone must. Otherwise, why keep everything else in working order? Whoever is maintaining the cars and rails must know something that we don't. Let's ask them what it is, shall we? Rislin, I do believe you'll find a person of some interest skulking in the shadows behind the warehouses of the northwestern side of the tracks. While you, while you two have a friendly chat, the rest of us will gently encourage those to the south to come out of hiding. Defend yourselves as necessary, of course, but do try to keep everyone in one piece. <laughs> I don't know if we do. Off we go, then. Can't remember. I just remember this part. This stretch of the storytelling. If you thought... Well, I didn't really think Rakti... It was long. It was like a lot of quests. But I didn't actually think it really dragged Raktika. But I feel like almost like this stretch of the story here just drags. So hopefully it's faster doing it and... New Game Plus because I'm skipping a lot of stuff. Where are we? We're at the trolley problem. Yeah. We're, we're, we'll, we'll maybe get another three or four quests done before the end of the day. And we'll still be about six or seven quests away from the next dungeon, so we'll definitely get those done on next Friday. But, uh... I, I almost feel... I almost feel like... Shadowbringers itself, like the base game, was longer than Stormblood base game. It's just, it just feels like there is a lot more. There you go. Wicked White, where did you come from? No, never mind that. You have no business here. They have bad, I'm sure. to take up arms against us, though the outcome was plain from the first. Good to hear. These two weren't much trouble either. Let's see what they have to say for themselves. Us? Not the brigands come to? <sighs> to take what isn't ours? We honestly look like we need to steal. What, some rusted bits of iron? Don't be absurd. We're not here to rob you. A likely story. You look well. You look... You don't look normal, that's for certain. You don't have any wares, so you're clearly not merchants. Travelers never pass this way. The only reason you would come all the way out here is to strip the machinery for parts. Oh, Theft, I have an idea. What if once upon a time 
a lovely lady of noble birth ventured forth in search of her lost love, joined by her two most loyal servants, sworn to follow her unto world's end. On their journey, they met a sorcerer, an ancient as, as time themselves, or as ancient as time itself. Moved by the lady's devotion, he offered to be their guide, and they turned up here somehow. I can only assume that you're being intentionally obtuse. But in the unlikely event that that's a serious conjecture, no. I suppose I am a bodyguard of a sort. But you have rather large concerns. Larger concerns than fairy tale romances. Though I would fain hear more of this ageless sorcerer and his heroic deeds. <laughs> Shut up, Maria <Ray> J. <laughs> Gods grant me strength. <laughs> If I may, we're actually searching for a means by which to travel to Nabath Arang. We were hoping that the trolley here might offer a solution. I realize that we haven't gotten off to the best of starts, but if you know anything about how we might get it working again... The trolley? The trolley! You should have led with that! We're always keen to discuss the trolley. We're both engineers in training, in fact. Jerick and Thaff, at your service. Technically, I'm a miner. He does the repair work. But our true passion is the trolley. We're working with a few other folks to get up, up and running again. And before you ask, yes, it's true that there is little in need of transport these days. But there's no reason to consign a miracle of mechanical innovation to dust. The mere sight of it traveling the track once again would make hearts sore. Mark my words. You'll hear no argument from us. What progress have you made thus far? Not as much as we'd like, truth be told. Well, is there anything we could do to assist? We could gather materials or help put pieces together. It's a sight more complicated than that, I'm afraid. If you spoke with Magnus, you'd understand. He was the only one with full knowledge of the trolley's operation. I suppose you could speak with him, if you like. We'll introduce you. Very well. Our options are limited. And if this Magnus can explain whatever it is preventing the trolley from being restored, I'd like to hear it. Right. Looks like you'll be following us back to th Twine, then. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be a fight. It wasn't gonna be a fight. They're just totally trolley fanboys. We ran into trolley fanboys. Alright. Dost thou seek the sorcerer's wisdom, young one? <laughs> what? What? Hurry on, Jave, what are you saying? For a lost love. Perhaps that could have been me, had things been different. Aw, poor Minfilia. She would totally love to romance mobster bandos. <sighs> Come to think of it, Ariane always was fond of tarot fairy tales. <laughs> if you're ready, we can leave right now. Though, you haven't seen another fellow around here, have you? I thought he'd have come out by now. Think he'll be all right? That's uh, well, I suppose we did force your hand a bit. I'll have a look, just in case. You go on ahead, that. All right. Looks like it'll just be you lot and me then. Try not to let anything take a bite out of you on the way out of the rail yard. <laughs> oh, Nashu! Dang it! Hold on, she pulled my. My headphone jack out. What are you doing, crazy cat? Get your butt down. Get your butt down. No. Oh my god, why you're starting to go crazy? Oh my gosh. Nash will get down. Come on. Come on, baby. I know I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited because it's close to dinner time. She's just being a kitty cat. She's just being a kitty cat. Right. 
Damn that Sparts. Did he have to thump me so hard? I'll be feeling that for the next fortnight at least. Not to be done about it now though. I have pointed your over-eager companions in the right direction and they've gone on ahead so we need to get moving. Nashu, no! <laughs> get your- she's trying to attack the lamp now. Come on! She is. She's very curious about everything and she's been jumping on the, the, the fish tanks again. <sighs> Normally we walk atop the tracks, but seeing as the young lady has a much shorter stride, that's more perilous a route than I'm comfortable suggesting. Wouldn't want anyone falling through the gaps. Of course, the low road presents other dangers, but having been on the receiving end of your friend's blows, I'm not worried on that account. It's like she wakes up and she's like, it's playtime, and then she just starts going nuts playing. Though they do say cats tend to, like, chill out, start chilling out about 12 months old, and she's nine. So we got three more months of this. Wait a moment. I think I hear something. Oh, that's something, all right. Run! Uh-oh. What's this something? It's just a gibbering coyote. Yeah, she is still a kitten. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Damn it. No, Nashu, no! Don't, no, I can't! I can't now, cat! She's gonna jump on my tower! Oh god, I gotta kill these things. Nashu, go. Come on. No, Nashu, get down. Get down, Nashu. She's just gotta get into everything. What? Exactly, she would. Actually, Chewie's done that before. He doesn't jump up there anymore, but man. Okay. Sorry about that. I'll admit, I didn't expect this route to be quite so fraught with danger. We're nearly to twine, though, so we should make it without further incident. so purposeful. It's amazing. I have to find a place like this still occupied. I must have come dangerously close to being consumed by the flood. A testament to man's resilience that civilization may yet be found at the very edge of the world. This is it! Welcome to Twine! The original dwellings were built to house those laborers tasked with building the track. Over time, miners came to seek their fortunes. That's what made the town grow to what you see before you today. But it was still the trolley that brought them here. As you've doubtless noticed, the track goes to the very heart of the town. It was the heart of the town back when the trolley still carried everyone home at the end of each hard day in the, mi in the mines. Now, there is no trolley, nor much work to be had in the mines, for that matter. The only residents that remain are the destitute, the delusional, and those with nowhere else to go. Or so they say. That should give you some indication of what to expect when you meet Magnus. As I said, it will help you understand why we can't get the trolley running. Just 
Don't expect too much aside from that. Well, that's encouraging. But I don't see that we have much choice. Let's go and meet the man. are you supposed to be? Never seen the three of you in my life. Or the four of you? Wicked white. If you're going to bother me, at least have the damn courtesy to stand still. He thinks this is this one is deep in his cups. These are my guests, Magnus. We ran into them at the mines. They're looking for a way to reach Nabat the Rang, so they came to ask about the trolley, you see. What? There's nothing in Nabat the Rang. Not anymore. Especially not for frail little girls. Give it up. No! We much must reach Nabat the Rang. I must! So you have your heart set on it. The world doesn't care. The place is a ruin, nothing more. You're not getting there in the trolley. The thing doesn't run on hopes and dreams. We're not fools. It's, necess it's necessity that drives us to Napa the Ring. If you insist that the trolley is not an option, at least tell us why. No. Sick of people asking me about the blasted thing. Leave me be. We'll speak outside. Yes, he's drunk. <laughs> but he's not happy drunk. He's angry drunk. <laughs> he's angry drunk. I sense there is more to this belligerent drunk in his tail. He only said that because... Because he thinks I'm weak. And he's right. But I can't be. I won't be forever. There has to be some way. I must find it. Sorry, I was stuck in my own head again. It's clear that Magnus has no intention of helping us, but perhaps we should ask the other residents? They may know something of the trolley. I'll take the north side of town. Let me know if you learn anything. Thancred, art thou truly content to stand witness to fate's course and take no part? This isn't a matter of fate, Narianje. It's about choice. I've had years to decide where I stand. And Philia has spent too long in chains already. I would not shackle her again by making my hopes known. It is for her to choose what shape her destiny will take. It is for me to stay silent, to protect her, teach her, and stand by her. That, at least, I can do for her. So be it. Come, let us make our own inquiries. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, there you are. You'll be pleased to know that I got our friend back home with no trouble, and he's just fine. He was a bit shaken up, is all. And you? What did Magnus have to say? I think I'm, like, really close up on this guy. Ah, I did have a faint hope that your need might prompt him to action where where our interest had not, but I suppose that was foolish of me. I am sorry that we, we couldn't be of help, though. I can at least show you the trolley car we have here if you like. You can give it a stroke or two. 
It has some very smooth wood. <laughs> what? You mean you're not you're not you mean to say you're not giving up? Even knowing that Magnus is Magnus? I think that line was a little suggestive. Um, yes, Thancred's being a jerk. But this isn't jerk. This is Jarek. He's not a jerk. Um, I don't see much point in, be in your being stubborn about it. Though perhaps stubbornness is exactly what the situation calls for. You can't forge iron without an anvil, after all. I can't imagine that anything you, will you try will work. But if you're certain, you can help me make preparations in the event that it does. To that end, take this toolbox. We're going to inspect the rails. I'll have a look at the, a, a look along the tracks for anything that's in need of repair. You bring the tools and be ready to hand them to me whenever I stop to work. All right. <laughs> Jerk toffee and Magnum. <laughs> oh my gosh. spot looks like it could use a bit of work. Can you ready the tools for me? I guess so. You open the box, revealing the proud array of lovingly maintained tools within. Brilliant. Now if you could hand me what I need as I work, that would be a, that would be a help. In this case, hmm, well this bolt is loose for one matter. Can't have that. I'll need to tighten it. Uh, how about a wrench? A mid-sized wrench. Thank you! This one will do nicely. Now, give me one moment and... Brand's music. <laughs> there! I don't see any other problems here, so let's continue along the track. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? No crying! I didn't even do anything! I didn't even swear! I didn't even say Mobster Bando! I'm a bit concerned about this lantern post. Would you ready the tools for me? I don't want to give him the saw! He had to use- Oh my god, why are you trying to make me mess up? You set down the toolbox, the muscles of your arms enjoying profound relief, and open it once again. You're quite handy to have around, you know? As to the lamp here, these aren't often necessary these days, but if we're going to do this, we might as well do it properly. And if by some miracle the night returns, as it did in Lakeland, well, that's a nice thought. Anyhow, a bit of this post seems to have splintered. Whether its lamp is to be lit or not, we wouldn't want these little pieces of wood jabbing the next person who comes through here to do maintenance. I'll need to stand it down a bit. Or sand it down a bit. No. I'm gonna give him the rough file. No, why do you want me to give him the, the bulky saw? Fine. I'll give him the bulky saw. He's just gonna yell at me. I'm gonna have to do this again. Sure, I'll simply hack at it with- Honestly, what are- What are you away with? Honestly, are you away with the Fae? We're trying to prevent splinters, not chop down the post like a tree! Now hand me something a bit more delicate, if you please. <laughs> he yelled at me, I told you! No, you want me to give him the hammer? You want me to give him the hammer? He's gonna yell at me again. Oh no. I'm not- you're making me look like- you're making Rizlin look like an idiot! Uh, you have an interesting sense of humor. Now, can I get the proper tool this time? <laughs> fine. Ah, <sighs> fine. 
<laughs> You're like a child! Yes, a wood vial's perfect. Let me even this out. Hey, I gave him everything but the wood vial until the end. That should do it. I'll bring some varnish along next time to finish the job. I haven't spotted any other problems, so we can move along now. Unless you'd like to take in the view of the tracks from here for a bit longer. It's breathtaking, I know. Mining has always been the primary vocation of folks in the Hills of Amber, you see. But after a certain point, they had dug up everything that could easily be reached and carried back by, carried back by manpower alone. It was then that the Nabath Empire struck up the idea of the Talus, which they had seen at work abroad. At great expense, the Nabath brought the Mistal engineers who had specialized in Talus here to the hills. And wouldn't you know it, the mining industry picked right up again. Twine itself sprung up around that time, as a matter of fact. It was named after the entwining of, tra of tales, the fruitful cooperation between the native Ronzo and the newly come Mistal. But that, like so much else, fell apart in the wake of the flood. The Mistal left, taking their knowledge with them. It was 15 years ago that the last of them, the folks from the Daedalus Stoneworks, took off for a Yulmore. Now, no one remains that can repair the op and operate the talus. But there's no use in la lamenting what can't be changed. And there's one more thing we need to do while we're out here, so we might as well get to it. Vultures occasionally make their nests on the tracks, you see, and it falls to us to remove them when they do. Creatures are angry when disturbed, which is natural, but nevertheless a danger to anyone passing by. It's not my favorite task, to be honest with you. As you may have noticed, I'm not terribly suited to confrontation. That said, would you follow the tracks north and remove any nests you find for me? I'll keep an eye on things from here. Fine, fine. Take care of some vultures. 